Hello friends, uh, today I will discuss about line or switch interlock for a feeder. So in this diagram, uh, a single line diagram has been shown for a feeder with one main bus and one transfer bus system. Here 132 kb main bus has been shown and this is the 132 kb transfer bus. So here the feeder, this is the feeder bay. In the feeder bay, which include a 89A, that is the bus side isolator, one breaker that is 52 and one uh, line isolator that is 89L and one 89T that is the transfer bus side isolator. So this feeder can take power from the main bus or either from the transfer bus. For taking from, from the main bus, the 89A, 89L and 52 shall be closed. Again from taking power from the transfer bus, 89T shall be closed. Again in the substation, the bus coupler or bus transfer base shall be closed. That is main bus is uh, uh, main bus is uh, coupled with that of the transfer bus. After that, by 89T, the feeder will drawing power from the transfer bus by a uh, coupled bay of the bus transfer bay from the main bus. Okay. So this is how the feeder can be diverted to transfer bus or feeder can draw power from the main bus. So this is the 89A line. There is the line or switch. So what is the purpose of the 89 LE? That is after taking proper shutdown from both end of the substation, this 89 LE shall be closed from both end of the substation so that the trap charge in the feeder shall be uh, discharged properly. So after that uh, proper maintenance work in the line can be taken out. So this is the purpose of the 89 LE. So what are the interlock is provided for 89 LE? So you can see from the single line diagram that if 89T is closed, that is the feeder is drawing power from the 89T, that is bus transfer is charged and feeder is drawing power from 89T, then we cannot close the 89LE. So one interlock is provided from the 89T auxiliary contact or bus transfer isolator auxiliary contact to the 89LE. There is uh, line or switch. Okay. So another interlocking is given from the 89L. So if 89L is closed, that is the feeder is drawing power from the main pass. There is 89L, 89A, and breaker is closed. So there will be voltage at this point. So in this case, we cannot close 89LE. So another interlocking is given from the 89L. There is auxiliary contact from the line or isolator. Again, uh, another interlock is given from the uh, 89LE, that is line R switch from the CVT, line CVT. So here line CVT has been shown uh, in case of 220 or 400 KB line, there exist uh, three number of line CVT for each phases. In case of 132 KB feeder, there exist one CVT, either uh, blue phase most of the cases, okay. So from the line, if uh, line is charged from the remote end uh, substation, then there will be voltage at this point. So in this case, we cannot close uh, the line or switch. Uh, otherwise, a dead sort will be occur. So in order to avoid uh, this uh, closing from this line or switch, uh, the interlocking is provided uh, from this PT secondary, CVT secondary input which is taken to the under voltage relay. So how the in interlocking is given from the under voltage relay, I'll discuss in this video. Now how the under voltage relay contact has been taken from the R switch interlock, I will discuss in this slide. So here, uh, let us take example for each phase, there exists one CVT. So secondary, secondary, input from the CVT has been taken to the CRP panel to the supply of the uh, two terminal of under voltage relay. Since there exist uh, three CVT, two number of uh, uh, under voltage relay is used for line or switch interlock. That is 27A and 27B. So here first uh, under voltage relay, which is used uh, in between red and yellow phase of the CVT secondary. Again, for 27B, there is another under voltage relay which used the secondary voltage in between yellow and blue phase. 
So this drawing has been shown under the normal condition that is the relay is in an energized condition. So consider that uh, the CBT is charged from the remote end uh, from the local end and the 52 breaker is open and line isolator is open. In this case, we cannot close the R switch because of the interlocking coil. So because of this drawing, so under this condition, since the CBT is charged, this 27A and 27B relay will be in operating condition. Therefore, this 27A contact and 27B contact come to an opposition. This DC will not through to the this TV to the interlocking coil of the R switch. That is why you cannot operate the uh, R switch electrically. So in this diagram, uh, the uh, interlocking coil for the line R switch has been shown. So here exist uh, three NC contact. Uh, one is under voltage relay NC contact that is 27. Another is uh, 89L that is the line isolator NC contact and another is 89T that is the transfer bus side isolator NC contact. So if this three condition is fulfilled, then only this interlocking coil will be energized and we can operate the line R switch electrically. So what is the uh, three condition? That is the, the CVD shall be fully no voltage from either, either from local end or from remote end. So under this condition, this 27 relay, that is the under voltage relay will not operate operating condition. Then this contact remain in NC position. This voltage will be through, okay. Again, another condition is that uh, 89 L, that is the line isolator shall be open. 89 T, that is the bus transfer isolator shall be open for this feeder. Then only this interlocking coil will be energized. If interlocking coil is energized, then only, then only we can operate the line R switch electrically. So these are the three condition for the feeder or interlocking coil in order to energized or operating of the line R switch electrically. Apart from that, there exists a mecha mechanical interlocked in between line R switch and 89L. So if the 89L is closed, we cannot operate 89L mechanically. So this, 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 is the, uh, this is all about the interlocking for the line R switch for a feeder. So friends, if you like my video, then please go through my channel and do subscribe my channel and also press bell button for notification of videos to be uploaded in future. Thank you for watching this video.